your attention to this. This was uh, the moment of the day for all the wrong reasons. Michigan, Wisconsin, by now you've probably seen it. Wisconsin's up 15 points in the final 22 seconds. The game is over. Michigan is pressing for some reason. Uh, and we're going to have a, a Wisconsin kid is going to lose his shoe. And, and so we're going to need a moment for that. And Wisconsin's coach, Greg Gard, is going to call a timeout. And Jawan Howard does not like that, and I suppose understandably so, but it certainly didn't need to, to lead to this. You see it here, Guard and Howard, they're going to have some words, and then it's going to get much, much worse. Ultimately, and this is the moment that they'll be dealing with for quite some time, Jawan Howard is going to throw, a punch is not the right word, sort of an open hand slap to the face of an assistant coach named Joe Kravenhoft, and then all bets are off. Now the players are going to start getting involved in this. we got punching, we got pushing, we've got shoving. Uh, Howard has to be restrained. A guard is going to have to get out of there. They can't really restore the peace because they were the ones creating the problem in the first place. Just a terrible moment in every conceivable way. Here was some of the fallout when it was done. I didn't like the timeout being called, and I'll be totally honest with you. Um, I thought it was uh, you know, not necessary at that moment, uh, especially being a large lead. Um, and then for it to have a timeout, um, to be called with three seconds or four seconds to go, um, you know, I thought that that was, you know, what I felt wasn't fair to our guys, and so that's that's what happened. Touching me unnecessary wasn't wasn't cause for that when we were talking, and at that, at that point, you know, I thought that was, you know, time to protect myself. He came up to me and pulled his max max down and said, "I'll remember that," and he started pointing at me and tapped me in the chest, and I said, "Hold on, let me explain to you why." I took the time out. Maybe he doesn't know the rule that you get the 10 seconds reset. I wasn't going to put my players in that type of situation to have to break a f press in four seconds. All right, so that's some of the explanation. This is the Michigan Athletic Director, Ward Manuel, who said there is no excuse for any of our staff or student athletes to get into a physical altercation with others, regardless of instigating factors. I reached out and apologized to Chris McIntosh and President Coleman has reached out to uh, the Chancellor Blank to apologize for the totally unacceptable behavior. We will review the situation more thoroughly and work with the Big Ten Conference as they determine their disciplinary actions and will determine if further disciplinary actions are warranted. All right, for some more insight into all of this, delighted to have both Jay Billis and Seth Greenberg getting up with us early here. And, and Jay, I will just start uh, by giving you the floor. What, what is your reaction to this incident from yesterday? Well, it was disappointing uh, to see two coaches get in a fight in the handshake line after a game is profoundly disappointing. I mean, usually it's the administrators and the coaches that are waving their finger at the players to show decorum and to act the right way. And then when the coaches can't do it, uh, it's really disappointing. And it's, it's also disappointing that we're, you know, people are talking about, well, this guy pressed and this guy called a timeout. So what? None of that matters. The game was over. And if we can't act the right way in the handshake line and then can't take the proper tone in the press conferences afterwards, uh, it, 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 I don't know what. It's really disappointing. Seth, how about you? When I look at it, you know, everyone talks about the timeout. Everyone talks about the press. And here's a coach your own team. Juwan Howard should not worry about Greg Gard calling the timeout. And Greg Gard shouldn't worry about Juwan Howard pressing. You do it. It's in the best interest of your team. Now, when those two guys cross, that's what you call a blow by. Juwan Howard didn't want to deal with Greg Gard. Greg Gard's got to respect that. On the other hand, obviously, cause and effect, what happened after, is totally unacceptable. And, you know, I've been gi giving a lot of thought to this, Greeny, and you know, I'm saying, you know, I, I talked to my daughter, and I said, you know what, maybe we should get rid of the handshake lines. How about we just act appropriately? How about we lead as opposed to follow? How about we set an example? What happened yesterday was unacceptable. It was embarrassing to both institutions and obviously escalated to the point where you know, people were in danger. We just set a really bad example. And so then, of course, Jay, it always turns to now what? So if you were making the decision on how this matter would be adjudicated one way or another, where would you begin? Well, if you're talking about sanctions, the first thing I would look at is what do they do with players? And, and it shouldn't be any less than a player would get for something similar. And there are differing levels of culpability here. And Jawan Howard being the most culpable for the fact that he threw an, an open-handed uh, punch or slap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but there are differing levels of culpability here. And what I would say is no one that we're talking about as being involved was blameless 
one of the first questions I would ask in the press conference is, do you feel that your words and actions, are you proud of them? Do you feel they were appropriate under the circumstances? Because I'd like to hear the answer from each one of those involved. But I don't think it should be any less for a player when we expect the coaches to, to say, as Seth said, to set the standard, set the example. Yeah, I mean, one might argue that uh, the punishment should be greater for a coach who is expected to be um, both literally and figuratively the adult in the room. How about you, Seth? Yeah, I totally agree with Jay. I think that it should be severe, quite honestly. If you're supposed to set the example, uh, you know, the punishment should be severe. And, you know, what my gut feeling is that Greg Gard should get some type of reprimand because he should have put his hands on Juwan. If Juwan didn't want to shake his hand, that's a blow by. Boom, just move on. On the other hand, what Juwan did was unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. And other players got involved because there are going to be players that are going to be suspended because there were players that actually threw punches as well. And you put your team at risk. So, you know, I think it should be severe. I think, I think we need to send a message. Let's be adults. Let's do the right thing. Let's set an example. And uh, to me, that's really important for the league and for the big picture. Uh, you know, shaking hands, should we do it, should we do it? You know, in the end, if you cannot control your emotions at the end of a game, all right, and look someone in the eyes and say, you know what, let's move on, that, that's a problem to me. And, uh, you know, I, I think we need to be above that. Now, how about, Jay, that? I, personally, I like the handshake line. I, I kind of like what it represents, which is to say, you know, a good game. We, we, we competed against each other for 40 minutes, and now we shake hands and, and walk away friends. But if it's going to create problems like this, I certainly see people taking the other side. Which side of that are you on? Well, I, I don't care for the handshake line for a different reason. It has nothing to do about avoiding confrontation or things like that. I, I, I used to call it the Little League handshake line. And and to me, if you're if you're taking 30 handshakes in a row, it doesn't have as much meaning. And, and it's almost like you're high fiving everybody just walking by. I, I get it. It's a sportsmanship thing. But I'd prefer the, the handshake to your counterpart that has a little bit more meaning. But I don't I don't think we should even discuss getting rid of the handshake line because two coaches couldn't behave properly. And and uh, that, that 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 has nothing, no meaning to me at all. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.